Are we live? We live. Yeah. Okay, so I ain't gonna curse. But these. All right, man. So we got a Tommy G video once again inside the world of scammers and check fraud, bro. It should be a good one, man. It's a nice little lengthy video. Hopefully, y'all watch it all the way through with me. So listen, man, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get to the video, man. Let's get it. I didn't mean to pause. <laughs> y'all ready to ride? Man, shout out America, man. I can't do this without y'all, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. We just show y'all what y'all could do if y'all wanted to get rich. We'll go to jail. Go to prison. That's what you could do. The couple's American dream quickly turned into a nightmare after wiring nearly eight hundred thousand dollars. All of that money went to a scammer. I'm glad I ain't got no money for them to steal. How many times a week would you say you punch me out? Seven times a week, every day. <laughs> oh my god! Is that your fork or what is that for chicken? <laughs> Whoa. 12 people are facing more than 100 charges in a major credit fraud scheme. We're almost blew that mug. Accused of stealing more than half a million dollars in a credit card scam. It's shocking video of thugs chasing a mail carrier. Why? It's believed they wanted the master key he carries that opens Ooh, he mailboxes. Almost, he almost hit his head on the uh, sidewalk. 25 investigates exposing a check scam that can wipe out your bank account. We're talking about scammers who can clone any of our voices using artificial intelligence. We are talking about $100,000 in forged checks. Whether it's a scam call center from India, a billionaire's Ponzi scheme, a guy pretending to be a Nigerian prince, or a U.S. senator out trading hedge funds while employed on the taxpayer dime, the truth is people hate getting scammed. After all, there are entire YouTube channels dedicated to getting revenge on scammers. You see, call scammers Godzilla. are people that leverage social engineering, also known as human hacking, to steal, manipulate, and exploit. They'll make their approach, get you to trust them, then before you know it, they'll disappear into thin air after they've extracted your bank account account, social security, or other valuable information. Today, we dive into the world of fraud and scamming, and we uncover how some of the scams are happening right now. We'll cover the biggest scam that's ever occurred in U.S. history, and we'll talk to the scammers to see how they think and what motivates them. And by the end of this, we'll provide you with tips on how you can avoid getting scammed yourself. This is the world of scammers. Let's dive in. Let's get it. There are people out there looking to exploit your data for their own gain. With scammers like this out there lurking, it's a good idea to protect yourself. To guard against shenanigans like this. Bro, this dude is doing a doc, little vlog documentary thing about scammers with them and using them in the video to promote a way not to get identity theft. That's that's diabolical, bro. That's that's hilarious. Let's let's get to the actual video. And now back to the episode. Folks, today we're diving into the world of scamming. I don't know what the hell we're gonna get into. I'm excited, but apparently in the city of Minneapolis, scamming is a big business. Minneapolis woman calls it emotional hacking. Scammers drained $800,000 from her dad's bank account. LaSalle Crazy. University student accused her of dad. stealing more than half a million dollars in a credit card scam. Foster was doing fake transactions, marking items up in price, then returning them for the original price while pocketing the difference in account of her own. In fact, there are multiple RICO cases going on for fraud. Right now, a big scam that was pulled was the food share program. People pretended to be feeding the homeless and walked away with millions of dollars, and now they're getting recoded for that. A scammer is kind of like an illegal magician. They're pulling things out of thin air. There's illusion, deception, and before you know it or realize what they did, they're gone with the bag. Let's meet up with these guys and let's see what they're about. I was about to mute it. I, don't, I ain't trying to get copyrighted for nothing. No music. Yo, my boy. Is that you? Yeah, this is me right here. I'm in that rental car, that white car. All right, but I'm gonna walk over there. Okay, okay, door unlocked. Yo, what's up, bro? I say, I just know how to exploit ways to get home. Okay, my first question is though, why are you walking around like this? That just looks like a, a suspicious nigga. You look like a suspicious nigga. 
That's what I'm saying. You walk around with, with surgical gloves on. You're not doing surgery. You got a hoodie on, mask on, and glasses, like a face mask. But you look like you up to no good, bro. I, that's just the truth. Good morning. Simple. What are the different plays we're going to be getting into today? We got punches, simple things. We go from getting food. We can go from gas. We can go from checks. We can go from transfers. Stand work. It's all different type of ways you can get into it. So what got you into this world? All right, so look. It started when I was younger. It was this rapper named TJXX. When I was young, real young, T I was TJ? listening to music and wonder what the f is this dude doing. I started getting to it, digging in, and it started with music and wonder what the f is. Is that a. Is that Dr. Miami or is that real? Guess we'll never know. Still doing. I started getting to it, digging in, and it started with cars. If you listen to the music, you talk a lot about cars and checks, really. When you was talking about that, I kind of picked up on some things, and over time, I just got smarter and smarter and figured everything out. So, what was the first play you ever made? It was on Telegram. It was this African dude that I met. And we was talking for a long time, and he told me something called uh, it's a certain type of check that you can order off of, off a log in. The log, I mean, ship the check to a drop. I picked it up, put it in an ATM, six nine hundred came. That was my first ever play. And ever since then, I've just been on it. Has this ever put you in a risky situation? Plenty of time. Pretty much scamming down here is uh, pretty popular. I mean, in the city, everybody knows what's going on now, so. If somebody, if you find somebody that wants to do it, they know what they're signing up for. They know what's behind. Are there rich scammers out there? Or? You can really get rich off scammers. That's real. Pretty common. Six figure rich, seven figure rich. Mm -hmm. That's real. Rather than judging these kids, I wanted to try and put myself in their shoes. Now, I know I'm overgeneralizing here, but here's a theory I'm working with. A lot of these kid scammers are from Gen Z, and this is the generation that saw their parents lose their house in the 08 mortgage crisis as the bank executives responsible got rewarded by multi-million dollar bonuses, and the banks that fundamentally scammed the country got bailed out by the tax money of the very people they scammed. So essentially, these kids witnessed a financial system that openly didn't give a shit about them or their parents, so heck, why not pull a scam of their own? And kind of explains the sense of nihilism that we've seen creeping into this Gen Z generation. Whether you talk about scammers, the Kia boys, or just an overall sense of I don't give a f because it seems like the world around them is crumbling. Now, from a cultural standpoint, we've seen the rise of scam rappers, guys like Baby Tron, TJX6, and Punch Man Dev. And these are guys who look effortlessly cool, ridiculously rich, and they seem to be easily getting away with scams on major banks and institutions. So yes, it's easy to point the fingers at the scammers you see here. And yes, they have a moral responsibility of what they are doing, but are they not just an underworld byproduct of a system that white collar scammers created? I don't know. That's just a theory I'm working with. Do you save much of your money? Yeah. I'm not scammed at all time to be scammed by for the rest of my life. This You're gonna go to jail like first, bro. Anything. You do any hustle, I'll let you just click until you move on to your next look. You feel me? Next steps. Have you ever been almost caught by law enforcement? Yeah. I'm gonna take the, the yes. No, no, no. Uh, no. Pause, Let me think yes. Ask. Think about it, but nah, never. How much does an IP address come to play with what you do? It gives the that's like your address on my phone, no. Like you feel me, that's like your internet address. So. For most of the things you do, do you have to obscure your IP address? Yeah. Is that difficult to do? Nah, every person could do it, I see. So it doesn't affect a human at all, you think? Everybody has committed a scam before in some way. Some people do different types of scams. Some people do insurance, some people do home scams, you know, it's all different types of scams. I look at it as I'm not taking money from a, like a human, you know what I mean? And I don't think I'm the bad guy for it, you feel me? Let me see. How much money are we talking right there? What you're about to see is called punching chicken. Now, punching is lingo in the scam world that refers to the practice of using the dark web to get somebody else's credit card information and doing an online order to punch the item. You can punch chicken, pizza, presumably anything you can buy online. Here's how it went down. This is the website that I will buy the cards we'll from. The 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 mask? Ready to buy cards. Crazy. A fake credit card. A real credit card, but it's just not ours. And how much money does it have on it? 
It depends. I wouldn't necessarily say I know the exact amount. Certain yes. banks, they give you the ability to check. You can call the bank and you can check how much. But I would just be buying a car based off of the knowledge that I already know. There's something called a bin. A bin is a bank identification number. Now, depending on what bins you have, you might got a card that has thousands on it. You might got a card that has millions on it. There's no telling them. It's luck of the draw. Basically, yep. So are these are cards that someone physically stole like at the gas station. It fell on the ground, they picked it up, they upload it to a website, and then it, it sold to the, a bidder like you, or how does that work? Basically, yeah, kind of like how you just explained it. I wouldn't necessarily say it comes from people picking them up off of the ground, but more so skimmers. They have machines that you can put on for instance, at the gas station, you can put a skimmer on the machine where the people put their cards into, and then from there, you'll get about... That's exactly why I do Apple Pay as much as possible, bro. I try not to use my card physically. Ever. Unless I, unless I, they don't have Apple Pay. A thousand hits. Now, depending on how many people put their card in that specific machine where you put your skimmer at, that's where all the card information will come from. Does the skimmer also capture your pin? Yes, it does. So if you use a machine that has a skimmer and you type in your pin, all of a sudden you're wide open. You're good. Yeah, you're, you're not good. You're, up. <laughs> you're good though. Yeah. The thing about you know getting That's captured crazy, by bro. a skimmer is if you have the right type of setup with your bank account in terms of two-factor authentication, the bank asking uh, like questions like, "Was this you that just spent money at Raising Cane's for about a hundred dollars?" You know what I mean? If you have these different types of protocols set up with your, your bank account, you're less likely to be a victim of fraud. Basically, right now, you can get free chicken. I can get free everything right now. Boom. Now we got the money on there. Now, I can buy a card. You can buy social securities off this? When you buy the cards, depending on how much the card costs, that's why I said certain cards, they range from 20 to 25, all the way up to 30. You can see, like, I'll show you when I refresh. And I just saw you could buy a Canadian card, you could buy a U.S. card, mm -hmm. to the country. Mm -hmm. Wow. You can buy it from anywhere on the planet. As long as the website has a way to get these cards and put them on their site, then you can get pretty much anything. Have you ever heard of um, punching a meal? Punching a mule? Oh, that a hurt. <laughs> we spoke to legendary lawyer Bruce yeah. Rivers and a YouTuber. man who's a financial crimes expert to get their opinion on the scams you see unfolding in this video. Punching a meal. No, I've never heard of that. That's where you uh, apparently acquire someone else's credit card and you use that to buy free food. You know, there's a lot of scams going on. There's I, the skimming that goes on, like at a gas station, somebody <laughs> attaches a skimmer. That's actually happened to me. Somebody trying to buy some stuff at a uh, sporting goods store, like $2,000 worth of on my credit card. And then I see the guy in court on the hook for it. I mean, I was like, holy shit, that's the guy that stole my identity. And to trace it all back, we figured out exactly what pump it was, we figured out exactly where it was, and he had been doing this all over the place. So I saw him in Hennepin County in court, and my thing happened in another county. He was doing it all over the place. A lot of times what's gonna happen is you go to try and do a touch pay, it doesn't work. That's part of the plan. They want you to scan your card. So they yeah, actually no, will have a no. module, uh, something that's identical looking to the actual card swipe overlaid. Physically go and try and pull it off. If it doesn't pull off, you're good. If you can go inside and pay the gas station attendant, ideally in cash, avoid this whole digital footprint process, you're gonna be a lot safer. You see any sort of fraudulent activity on your account, immediately contact your bank. The sooner that you can contact the authorities, law enforcement, it's gonna be much easier to get your money back. When there's delay in space and time, scam with any sort of uh, financial scam it's much harder to get your money back if you really want to get my thing is okay how do they do it inside the gas station like how does the clerk not know like i don't get it how do they not see that even on the camera they could catch like say if they like stepped away from the from the um counter they got cameras in the back so how do they not see somebody putting that on there unless they're a part of it too like i'm i'm curious about that bro get specific on which which one you want to buy you can type in your bank your bank identification number so i'm going to type in a bank that i know is going to work this is a bank called wings financial credit Union. very very high class bank so when you're doing simple punching for uh you know food and shit like we talked about yeah things might take a hundred dollar loss today 
But that person whose card I'm using, they're getting all their money back. 100% guaranteed. Well, I've heard people that get scammed and it can take 30 days for them to get the money back in their account. The average American has $1,000 or less in their savings. Mm -hmm. So if you scam the average American and rents due, they might not have it because of the scam. You are right. But in terms of them never getting their money back, I know for a fact that they'll get their money back. Somebody just texted, uh... Yeah, he don't care what he just said, bro. He literally don't care what he just said. Uh, somebody just texted him and said... They said if if they had their last thousand for rent, they're not going to be able to pay it because it's gone. And they got to wait 30 days and rent's due on the first. Oh, but they're going to get their money back. Yeah, but they're going to get an eviction notice, bro. What are you talking about? The police. Yeah, we got we to gotta get out. So we're outside of a, a Cane's Chicken. How often do you guys get free meals like this? Every day, I eat free every day. Everything I do is almost free. Yeah, what do you think? So they they get everything is... free, bro. Right? Yes, yes. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Visa, credit card, mm -hmm. 275. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll go over to the website, same card, mm -hmm. 75. Can't make this shit up. Okay. Some guy named just lost 50 bucks because some guy got 50 chicken nuggets. 80, and we finna eat good. Okay, I hear the go, police. You hear the yeah. police? Let's get out of here. After Man, a successful Howard. chicken punching, they just the fellas decided like to that. take their chicken to a warehouse in a secure location so they could eat their chicken in peace. All right, bro, we finna get them in the basement and eat. My thing is, they getting all this money. Why are they, why are they hiding in the basement? It's like, what? Why don't they have a nice crib like Punch Made, Dev, and stuff like that? Why they... I mean, maybe it's a reason they want to just stay low-key and hide, but, like, what's the point of making all that money if you ain't going to be... You ain't, you know, living it up. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how legal was that, what we just did? That's like a 10, because I fully completed it, you know? And anything that you do that you're doing fraudulent, it's always going to be a 10. The only thing that makes it more secure is that I didn't go in there and swipe a card. So they can't say that I did anything illegal. If they caught you, what would be the punishment? You know, it's a white collar crime. I don't think I would get charged with anything really because, like I said, they, they don't have any proof that I did anything. So they would have to drop the case. If they did want to take full action and give me a punishment, it would probably be worth from like five to ten. Five to ten years? Just for some shit. What makes it worth it? Time's hard for everybody right now. So it's like, if you ain't got no money, but you got somebody caught, you know, good. Just the other day, I got big lines like this. Is it that easy to get away with? Yeah, 100%. I'm always in and out. I've never been in a spot and they tried to hold me or tell me, oh, we can't give you what you're paying for, you gotta wait a little bit, you know? But in terms of me going into a restaurant and I swipe a card, say that card to call. Is he going I with his mask on? Ain't no way. Somewhere. Give us a second. Matter of fact, you can't swipe any more cards. Just wait right here for us while we get the system to the break. While they're getting their system set up, they're really calling the police to tell you, like, hey, this guy isn't here trying to commit fraud. So do you even get nervous making a play like this? Hell no. It's easy, bro. I've been doing this shit since 2017. Alright, let's see if this is real chicken or scam chicken. Come on. If you could say a message to the CEO of Raising Canes, what would you say? Hey, thank you for the chicken. I, got, I wonder, does this make um, Tommy G, like, an accomplice to a crime? If he's, like, indulging in the stuff that they stole? Right? Like, can he get in trouble for this? I believe he can, bro. You fed a lot of hungry people tonight. I guess big dogs gotta eat. Is that necessary for, is that your fork or what is that for chicken? <laughs> oh! I'm gonna see if punch chicken tastes any different. Actually, this is my first time eating Raisin Cane's. No fucking diddy. Mm. Bro, just committed a crime with them. chicken tender. Ooh, and we got the tan too, people. All right, we kind of got the gist. I'm not going to watch the entire thing, bro. He probably just going to talk to people about getting scammed and they're going to be like, yeah, man, it sucks because I have rent doing stuff like that. I don't know. But yeah, I'm, I'm just going to stop it there. That's the video. My nigga. <laughs>